For the people that don't know, how did you get into boxing in your early years? Yeah, man. Uh, I had, excuse me, I had started boxing when I was like seven years old. Um, my dad, he had me into boxing because, um, like, I would get into like little scuffles in school. But it wasn't my fault. Like, I was always a dude that was like never really getting in trouble like that, to be honest. But I never started in trouble. But like, kids, like, two times my size, just try to pick them up because I was like, you know, nice kid, short and scrawny and whatnot. <laughs> And uh, my dad, you know, I, I used to, they used to try to pick on me, but and, uh, I used to like beat up the bullies and try to bully on me. You know what I mean? Like I, I still had that, you know what I mean? That that, that toughness, you know, from mm -hmm. Brownsville, you don't let nobody just try to pick on you. <laughs> so, but like my dad never seen that side of me, like me living in a house, me living in my crib, like I just never really showed that type of aggression. So he'd like, what? Like, my little shoe shoe coming in, coming out of school, coming out of guidance counselor's office, fighting and stuff like that. And then, uh, so I guess like he was impressed by that. Like, my dad is sick. How you go? <laughs> so uh, he had put me in boxing, man. And he, uh, the first gym I went to was Star City Boxing Club, and in that gym, that specific gym, you know, it was it was hot. Like in terms of like how many people was active in there. It was Shannon Briggs was in there. I saw Louis Calazzo in there. Curtis Stevens, you know, he was in there making the name that in the pros undefeated. Uh, uh, Saddam Ali was in there as an amateur. James Jacobs, a lot of big names was in there. Was in there training on a regular, and I kind of recognized him on TV. So I was kind of like starstruck as well too when I was uh, training in there with him. And then, uh, you know, that's kind of one of the things that had me kept going to the gym, like you know, cause just being around him, just being inspired. And then I remember I sparred this one kid probably like a month end of me training, and I beat him so bad that. He never came back to the gym. And I think that that was my blood. that was the moment. Like I was like, yeah, now this boxing gym is made for me. This is the moment. This is this is what's this is my calling. So you never had you never coming from we come you know we come from New York. It's all type of sports. You never tried any other sport. That was the that was the first sport that ran in your lap, and you just ran with it. No ball. No, that was, I ain't gonna lie. Along the year, like come on now, like you know, I started when I was seven. So you get curious about other things throughout the years for sure. Like. I wanted to play basketball. I actually wanted to play basketball before boxing, but you know, my dad, once I got into boxing, he was just like, nah, everything is strictly that. Like, I don't want you to injure yourself. I don't want you to play around with nothing else. If, uh, if it's not boxing, then like, I would rather you injure yourself in boxing than, in, than outside and then you miss out on a big tournament or something like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, he like anything that I was interested in, he was like, man, scratch that. You gotta, you can only, you could do two things at one time, but you can't focus on two things at one time. And when every single time he used to tell me that, I'm like, damn, like, you know, you're right, because I want to be able to, like, I always knew I wanted to be great in boxing. So it's like, in order to do that, you gotta, you know, put 100% focus on one thing. You know what I mean? If you focus on two things, you're not gonna be as good if you don't focus on this one thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, ah, let me stop playing around. Let me just, you know, put all of my focus. Yeah. on this boxing thing and uh you know i'm here where i am now <laughs>